In the second part of season seven, we have to learn what happened to Jemmy. I was expecting the storyline to be told in the first part, but they left it when Roger and Buck went through the stones. Since I'm pretty impatient and curious, I rolled up my sleeves and took a look at the books so that I can learn what really happened to him and what may happen in the second part. Today, I'm here to share my findings. Before getting into the video, you should know that this video contains a huge amount of spoilers. If you're willing to take the risk, let's begin. As you may remember, the last thing we saw about this storyline is that Bree gave Buck and Roger a ride to the stones, and that's it. In An Echo in the Bone, we see that Bree and Mandy go back to Lallybrock, and Bree feels really alone because every single person she loves is in the past now. Well, except for Mandy, of course. As she goes through the books, there's a movement in the house, and that's Rob Cameron. He didn't go through the stones after all. He wants Bree to make Jem tell where the gold is. Meanwhile, we finally see Jemmy. He's in a cold and a dark place. Apparently, Rob really took him to the stones, but when he saw the gem was disappearing through them, he pulled him back and took him to the tunnels. Yes, the same tunnels Rob took Bree as a part of a sick prank. Anyways, knowing that he's still alive and relatively safe relieved me. But there's so much more than that. At some point, he feels his sister's presence. He feels that she's safe, and can I just say I'm in love with their bond? It's so cute and impressive. That's all we can learn from an echo in the bone. Even though most of this storyline resolves in book eight, I believe they need to rush it and finish it in season seven so that they can focus on other storylines for the final season. So let's take a look at Written in My Own Heart's Blood, or as Diana calls it, Moby. This book finally reveals Jem's fate in the Outlander universe. In this book, we also see Roger and Buck's storyline in the past. But I don't want to mention any of that because there are some beautiful and interesting storylines, and I don't want to spoil it for you. Jem is still in the tunnels, and he goes through the portal. He gets the same feeling when he got through the stones before, but thankfully, he's still not in the past. Back in Lallybrock, we see that Rob wants to rape Bree, but she beats him and get him into the priest's hole. As Rob says that Jem has no food or water, Bree realizes Jem is in the present, and Roger's trip to the past was completely unnecessary. Bree wakes Mandy up, and she says that she can feel Jem's presence. So they go out and start looking for Jemmy. Jemmy, on the other hand, finds the night security and starts explaining what happened to him. As he was talking, someone grabs him, but thankfully he thinks fast, so he bites the man and starts running. Meanwhile, thanks to Mandy, Bree realizes that Jemmy is somewhere in the plant. There's police too, but the man who tried to grab Jemmy runs away, meaning that Rob wasn't working alone. Bree finally takes his son back and they all go to Lallybrock, but Rob isn't there. Moreover, he got the key and Bree's gun, so Lallybrock is not a safe space anymore. Therefore, Bree decides to go to Fiona because there's no one else that could help them. Fiona, on the other hand, is more than happy to help them and take care of the kids while Bree tries to make Lallybrock more secure. But Rob is not a person who gives up quickly, especially when it's all about the gold. So he keeps harassing them and even hurts Fiona. One thing leads to another, and Bree realizes that she has no option but to hide in America for a while. Eventually, Brianna, Jem, and Mandy go through the stones at Craig Nadoon to find Roger in the past. Thanks to Lionel Menzies, the school principal, they manage to escape while Rob and his friends try to ambush them. Now, I want to know what comes next, because I don't know if Bree and the kids will manage to travel to Roger's time, and even if they do, I wonder what they will decide to do. Lallybrock is not safe anymore, and it breaks my heart. Bree and Roger gave everything they had to turn it into a safe space and a real home, and they have important letters from Jamie and Claire. I hope we never hear from Rob Cameron so that Mackenzie's may live in peace. What do you think will happen to the Mackenzie's? Do you think the show will tell their story in part two? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.